Good morning guys, it's an early start and welcome to a fresh new vlog. So this week I thought, you know, it's a new year, a new me, all that type of shenanigans. Let's do a revamp, let's take care of ourselves, do a pampering week, let's upgrade ourselves. My Botox has expired. The last time I went to get my Botox was run about six months ago and you know you need to do that every three months to keep it tight and snatch. I never thought I'd be a Botox girl, but here we are. I'm addicted to it. Once you get it done, it literally transforms your face. I started to notice like wrinkles here and there. And now it's all about prevention. The longer you leave it, the more the muscle gets weakened because you're consistently using it. By freezing that muscle, you're not using it as much. So you're preventing the wrinkles getting deeper and being a permanent ingrained in your face. I noticed that I can start frowning. Then all these wrinkles here, they gets to go. I've got like a little scar in between my nose and I noticed that is more prominent since the Botox has now expired we need to zhuzh that up go to a place called Masters Aesthetic and I go to Leah specifically she's the queen of injections I normally have like baby Botox which is not intense it just lights the lift up your face and gives you a little refresh moment I'm thinking maybe I need a bit of zhuzh in the corners of my lips just a tiny tiny little bit I'm gonna go to Leah and see what she recommends definition has slightly gone and I noticed one side of my lips it goes slightly more up than the other it was even before and now I don't know why my body just absorbs it more on that side it's always on the right side that I notice it more we're gonna see if we can try and even that out just a little here just to keep ourselves like nice tight and snatch it's all about keeping and maintaining and looking our best self i am turning 38 this year bitch i don't want to be 38 Nip tucked here and there just to keep the bad boys up nice and tight so i want to get my nails done i want to get my hair done a hair lasered a nice fresh new coochie up in the building there is not a week that i don't miss tanning for an asian girl i'm really power and pasty this tan that's on my body has expired Fired. It's so patchy Minaski. I need to exfoliate, get all that off. To start off our little routine, we're gonna get our ass to the gym. I'm doing a leg session. I literally got an hour and a half to kill. So let's get it. Put on a bit of makeup to make myself feel a bit cuter. But I'm running late. I need to make a move. Look how beautiful the salon is. So we've arrived at the salon. Oh my God, look how cute this salon is. It's such a pink Barbie doll vibe. We are all numbed up. We're just waiting for around about 10 minutes for it to numb. I'm um, having my nose done and some threads. I've got a scarring on the top of my nose. To build collagen there, I can have these threads that's inserted in and it'll help build collagen, revamp that scar. I've had the scar for some time now and it's made such tremendous difference compared to previously. So we're continuing on with the treatment and then we're topping up the lips. And little baby Botox. She's gonna come out as a new woman. Straight out of the surgeon's chair. Look how swollen I am. I feel like it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna look banging. My lips, she just revamped it slightly give it a bit more shape she did my nose and we did some threads on my scarring and botox i feel like i had so many things done all at once but wow i'm already feeling very plumped the swelling's gonna go down in the next few days i'm gonna look like a puffer fish we just gotta trust the process I just arrived home and i am so swollen but i'm loving the size of my lip and that nose Ooh, so cute can you see the side of my nose i can't wait to put makeup on this my god leah is a god Sen. She's so amazing and she's got an eye for beauty and she's in the correct field for what she needs to be doing. I know some of you guys are probably against filler. I'm not recommending anyone to have filler but if you just need a little tweak here and there just to improve and build confidence and also it helps like create volume in your face because as you get older you slowly lose volume. It's that bit of filler and Botox it really enhances your features. She really tried to insert in multiple threads within there and she said that the last time I done it was some time ago so we kind of really need to rebuild it from the start again to go back and remember six weeks time to have more sessions once we get it to the stage that we need it to be then it's just maintenance okay so i desperately need to get my nails done this is horrendous i really want to do some nope i can't do any of that my lips is just been revamped these hands are not for jerking off so we need to do a bit of makeover so i can see my fwb i've literally just booked a nail appointment for around about 10 minutes time good morning so today is the day after my little injection session and i'm hella swollen we got a vibe on through i don't think it looks like crazy that you can't leave the house so the lip is looking a bit ductified really like the nose situation 
I can still fran at the moment because the Botox hasn't kicked in yet. It's going to take at least around about five to two weeks for the Botox to fully kick in and then I wouldn't be able to. Got it, this. Can you see? I can frown all that, that line there. I want to mention about this recent skincare regimen that I've been going on. I said that this year is going to be a whole new thing where I'm going to take care of my skin. And I've been introduced to this brand. Let me just go and grab it. And it's from this brand called Skin and Me. I see such a transformation with my skin. But this is like a prescription based skincare regimen. And you get one of these Val, which looks like this. And you get it on a monthly basis. I'm not going to pop up the product because it'll be a waste. £25 a month. It's got key ingredients that will really transform your skin. One of the main key components to this is Retina A. We can only get that on prescription only in the UK. It's a proven ingredient that really reverses the sign of ageing, prevents wrinkles. It does a whole load of work and it really renews your skin. I want to do a video on basically Retina A, doing my skincare. I really recommend this. I do have a promotion motion that's on and that's how I would discover the product and you only have to pay for post on packaging and you get the first month for free and then every month is a subscription it's $25.99 and you guys know I normally never spend on skincare because I get a whole load of skincare for free from my sister because she's a blogger but I'm willing to spend £25 a month, so that says a lot. I will add the link down below. I'm just out here taking my vitamin, and one thing that I've noticed since taking my vitamin is every time I go to piss now, why is my piss yellow? It's not even like yellow as in like the normal colour yellow, it's like fluorescence yellow, like one of those lime green yellow. And it's making me feel like some type of way. I'm thinking, is this healthy? Should it be this colour? I don't know whether it, my body's absorbing it, or does this happen to you? I take around about five different vitamins. Now that my piss is fucking bright yellow, it makes me feel so self-conscious. I'm not going to be deceitful and say this doesn't happen to me, but there's been occasions where at night time, you know, you go in the middle of the night and you're dying for a piss, you go into the loo and then you forget to flush. And if you have a man around, you forget to flush and he comes in the toilet the next morning, he's going to think, girl, you're nasty. Clearly you don't drink water and I'm licking on that. Do you not know the existence of H? Two O. Now I make sure that I double look in the toilet just in case if your girl forgets to flush. I feel very sultry. I just did this makeup look, testing out the new lights that I bought. It's making me feel some type of way. Let's not waste the makeup. Your girl can't be looking like a snack and taking it off after. I was at the gym. If you follow my Instagram, I've been wanting these headphones and they cost a fucking pretty penny. And it's around about £300. It's by the brand called Bose. I was in my car talking about these fucking headphones like debating whether I want to buy it or not. £300 is a lot of money. Your girl was going to the gym, shutting her stuff. I put on a damn cute gym outfit today. I was at the gym with my headphones, not thinking much. I had to use the rack machine because I was training my legs. They had the bench on the rack machine and I'm like, oh, okay, I need to move that out of the way. So me, dragging it and I see these two cute guys. Okay, let me strap my stuff and pull this nice swiftly and slowly slowly <laughs> past them and the next thing I know I'm like uh, 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 pulling and pushing it even harder freaking like why is it stuck and then I turned behind and oh my god the wheels on the fucking bench was like rolling over a headpiece <gasps> and it's twisted like like that and oh my god there was no going back in my lifetime I sat on a few beats <laughs> and they did not survive the fat ass earthquake my heart was just like <gasps> Oh my god, this is me fucking trying to look cute, strutting past them. The first thing I can think of is apologising to the two guys. And my god, they were fucking cute as well. I'm like, I'm so, so sorry. If it's broken, I will pay for a new headset for you. And then he was like pulling it out from under the chair, looking at it, to my dismay. To add the icing on the cake. These headphones, you could just look at them, the detailing the structure it was a fucking expensive piece of fucking electronic these were the bose headphone that i wanted i was just weeping thinking to myself my god i just burped out those words to say that i will replace i will repair the headset for you and my heart is just crying inside i've been fucking eyeing this headphone up not willing to spend 300 pounds and if i had to fork out 300 pounds for a pair that i'm not even getting your girl is gonna be fucking pissed oh, thank god <laughs> he was like listening to them he was like no no, don't worry it's fine it's fine feeling a little better i put a little sneaky little comment in there i'm like how about i give you my number if you discover that they're broken later on you can bail me thinking oh this is a way to like fucking 
It's my way in. Because he's cute. If I'm going to lose money, I might as well fucking get something out of it in return. And he was like, nah, nah, it's okay. Rejection. <laughs> Shut it down straight away. Nope, it's fine. Potentially. Something could have been going on. I don't need your digits. Looked at his car keys and they were like freaking Mercedes. He's got coin. My type of man, but uninterested in me. I'm going to take off this cake and get ready for bed. At least it went to use. And you guys had evidence of it. <laughs> I just remembered I have to go to work today. Normally I'm in the office on a Wednesday and Thursday and today's a Tuesday. So there's like a, a change in rhythm and I'm like shot to the core. My tan is crusty Minusky. I am so patchy. You need to like exfoliate and self tan on a weekly basis. So you need to get rid of the old tan and put on the new tan. It's time for a weekly change of tanning session. So I thought I'll share some tips and tricks regarding to my tanning regimen what i do prior to getting in the shower and scrubbing off my fake tan i use this self tan eraser by bondi sand i just put that all over my body leave it even for 10 minutes and then i jump in the shower whilst i'm in the shower i would use these exfoliating mitts i've got one from face halo and then i've also got one of these that's a slightly bit more rougher it's like a bamboo style mitt and it really helps exfoliate the dead skin off you want to ensure you take off the layer of dead skin on your body so that when you apply the fake tan it's a lot more even it looks more natural i normally use bondi sand products as my go-to tanning products however i discover a new fake tan that my sister's given me and i love the results it's called the fresh baked london i just recently discovered this around christmas time and i've been loving it It gives you such an even glow and it's really dark so i don't want to apply like freaking three layers of fake tan sometimes i find that the tans are not dark enough even though the bottle says dark or extra dark ultra dark it is never dark enough for me that the next day i need to apply a second layer but this gives you a really good even coverage and it doesn't leave you Hatchy Amaretto, that is the colour that I have in Ultra Dark Mousse. I do like the mousse consistency compared to all the other consistency. I'm going to feel so sad once it finishes. I also love the Bondi San products. They are really good as well and so reliable. Gives you a good colour. It also has a guide with it, which means when you're applying it on your skin, you can see where the tan is. Sometimes that can be annoying because if I go to bed and I use a dark tanning mousse sometimes it can go all over the bed sheet which is annoying and i love having white bed sheets my bed is a situation sometimes it looks like there's a dead body on there <laughs> when i wake up in the morning you'll see the shape and outline of where my body lay dead at night i use one of these tanning mitts a tip that i have when i'm tanning my hands and feet is using a brush that i will put tan up on one of this and this is just dedicated to my fake tan pump a little bit of fake tan here and then brush it with my hands and i find it's so much more even because the worst thing you want to do is use the palm of your hands wipe it over here and then you get all fake tan underneath there this is what gives away you are fake tanning i hate the look of girls with like fake tan on their hands and fake tan on their heels or their feet another tip that i have for preventing your bed sheet looking like a hot mess in the morning product that has been sent to me by a brand i can't remember the brand i'll add the brand name here but it's like a little big massive pocket you lay it on your bed and you just shove your body inside that hole i also picked it in the color black it is satin which feels amazing on your body it's a little barrier that stops you laying directly on your bed sheets and on your duvet so that none of the tanning spreads to the bed and ruin your duvet genius idea why didn't i think of it before last friday i had some ict problems and I was speaking to someone from ICT to give me ICT support. And we discovered that my laptop needed to re be replaced. This person I spoke to on the phone, he seemed like the most like beautiful, kind-hearted, pure, good soul. We was talking for around about an hour because he was trying to fix my laptop. He said that I needed my laptop to replace. He'll be next in the office on Wednesday. And that is tomorrow. Tell me why am I so excited? I'm like planning what I'm going to wear, how I'm going to do makeup you know this might be the man of my dreams okay i'll update you to see if the face fits the personality if we are match made in heaven you guys will know this is day three since i've had my little mini session 
still frowned a little bit so I don't think the Botox has fully kicked in that scarring on my nose it is slowly going away which is amazing and the bruising on my lips is slowly going away but oh my god I love the shape of my lips I love how it tapers down which is freaking amazing we need to get ready another day at work unfortunately I have finally set up my little office station for me to do work properly before I was like working in my bed there was no designated location I used to have my monitor over here it was not in the most comfortable location now the chair fully tucks in here I've invested in like one of these padding to make it more comfortable and more enticing for me to work and your girl just upgraded to a new monitor screen so the existing one that I had previously before looked like this oh you guys can't even probably tell the difference 24 inch 27 inch I got this from work yesterday work was offering it out for free I was concerned that it wouldn't fit in this pigeonhole that I have but it fits perfectly which is amazing the trouble that I I had in getting this home in the office yesterday I needed to collect some ICT accessories and my laptop has been the pain of my life in the recent days I think the memory the storage was corrupt and ICT said that they'll give me a new laptop it'll be good to get my laptop replaced and also collect all my ICT equipment and I have to carry this fat mother effer on the bus and public transport to get home for okay the monitor is not heavy enough I took a keyboard I took a monitor stand I had like a decluttering session in the workplace because we're moving office we had to throw away a lot of the stationery I'm like I should take that home this will be useful home otherwise it's gonna go all in the bin I didn't think how am I gonna carry this so you know I went to ICT earlier I don't know there was one guy that was just nice to me overly nice it does help when you apply a makeup but he messaged me to check in like you know I hope we didn't miss any of the items off your list if you do let me know and I can help you so I got his name now we were just messaging back and forth he offered to pick up the items and drop me off to my car after work result but your girl had a little mini uber service the conversation with him really flow he's actually really nice funny bubbly guy i think he's only been there for a short while so i'm thankful to make a new ict friend i'm not gonna lie i think maybe the looks did play a part some makeup some trickery some catfishing the eyelash fluttering i'm joking he's just a really nice guy you know you, there's someone that's just pure good intentions he didn't ask me for my number if you guys are thinking otherwise no 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 nice people do exist you know without an intention i read on a meme just because i'm being nice to you doesn't mean i fancy you my mom just brought me up well don't ask that from me i need something in return if i'm doing something nice i just finished applying my makeup and i love the look that i'm going for today i had to come on camera because i feel i look cute so i want to show you guys Vague. This is the thinking chair. I wanted to have my nunny lasered. If you haven't done laser before, you need to do it. It's freaking life changing. I go to a place called Pulse Laser Clinic. Having a furless nunny is life changing. It feels like a bit of a bold chicken and you feel like a little young girl. When I wear pants to go gym, sometimes I'm like, I forgot to shave and the spikes are spiking through the pants. I've only had two sessions so far. I'm booked in for eight sessions and that is spread over a lifetime so you can do it whenever you want. But you need to have eight sessions to be able to get around about 90% get rid of the hair it's never going to be 100% gone most of it will be zapped away your furless however after that you need to maintain it by doing maybe once a year or once every two years depending on how often your hair grows out even after two sessions I can see a major difference and I've kind of hold it off around about six months which is so so bad I should be doing it every six weeks but because I've been on holiday had a tan left it for such a long time and then I've been applying and fake tan to try and look a bit more healthier the worst thing is in the winter you want to look a bit glowy so therefore you apply fake tan and you cannot have your laser done if you're fake tanning so you need to ensure that that is fully exfoliated there's no tan on your skin because the laser picks up pigmentation and if you have a tan and the hair it blends together so it's harder for the laser to distinguish which is hair and which is your skin tone which it can burn your skin there's a whole load of theory work that goes behind it stop doing it for six months and it's so frustrating you've taken such a long break you need to have a patch test so that means i have to go in twice and you know your girl lives in the suburbs we're going in for a patch test on wednesday and we've got a laser appointment booked for friday i'm just looking at my fertile window my period is due on the day that i'm having my patch test 
So you know it's going to be hard and heavy on the 27th. So I really need to call in and check whether I can still have my laser appointment a full day of work. I haven't had time to refresh. First world problems. I just hope that I'm a bit late this month. I have quite a longer cycle in comparison to a lot of people. A lot of people have around about 28 days, 30 days. My one is 31 to 35 days. I just pray that God delays my period this month. But then your girl might be in a panic attack. <laughs> Are you pregnant, girl? Can't wait to have a little revamp down there. I need some advice. I really want to, like, bleach my down below because being Asian, your bits tend to be darker than your normal skin tone, so you can see the drastic difference between the two. Oh, gosh, I'm exposed to myself, right? I heard that lasering, that get rid of some of the pigmentation. However, I want it to be fully blend. I want to have a, a pretty noonie. I want the guys to go down there and think, wow. That's memorable. Her one looks like what's on the screen. The Pornhub site. I don't know where I go about to find this at. Do you guys know? If you do, let me know down below. Like, what other options? I know it's like really popular in America, but I don't know if the UK, they care about that shit. I've only put a mirror down there and sneak peek. I remember at least five times in my life. So I don't do it that often. But whenever I've seen it, I'm like, huh, that's not a pretty sight. Put the mirror away. Remind me not to do that again. I want to be able to look down there and think, Oh, she's pretty. What are you doing, Tana? This ends this week's vlog. We did a whole transformation. I did my makeup today. I love it. I took my time. I wanted to look and feel good tonight. Your girl is on a... Today's Chinese New Year. We're off to party tonight. So I'm out to celebrate with my friends. But oh my God, look at my face. Leah done such an amazing job. I coloured my hair. My lips looks amazing. Botox. We're not 100% there yet. It is really decreasing. And look at the tip of my nose. Leah done such an amazing job. Just that little tippy tip gives such a difference to your face. And then that scarring on my nose. When I wear makeup, you can barely see it. I feel that we did a really good job. I applied a fake tan. We did a whole week of transformation. On to 2023, looking our best and feeling like a best bad bitch i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on all my other social media platforms i love you guys and i hope you enjoyed this week's video